Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty-ish Kristen. Today I am working on my diamond painting cross-stitch conversion project. If you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. So this is the picture of what my final product will look like when I eventually finish it. The name of the pattern is Geode and it is by Electric City Stitches on Etsy. The finish size will measure about 121 centimeters by 117 centimeters. It has 136 colors, and I am using three canvases that I got from Evermoment, and they measure 43 wide by 118 down. So it's going to be three canvases lined up, one, two, three. Super exciting. I got my drills from DPF Handwork Store on AliExpress. I'm using my Art Dot 240 bottle storage case. I have Pattern Keeper because I would not be able to do this with a pattern paper. Let's see, I have my release papers from Calb Sparkles. I have my mini tray from Kitting Up Kitten. And I have my wooden pen and my painted wooden pen. So, oh yes, and my on my little tracker sheet, this is where I am. So yeah, huh, just a little bit more to go. So this is my second section that I've worked on for today. So today I have put down 929 drills. So let's finish this section and get started. All right, which color, let's see. I tried to get some of this done. Some of the little itty bitty bits and some of the bigger ones already. Oh, and I apologize in advance if you hear yelling and or uh, screaming. I promise it's good screaming. Oh, nope, see, look at me. Can't talk and do this at the same time, apparently. It is good screaming. Uh, my son is playing games online with some of his friends and they get a little heated. So, yeah. I am on a slight time crunch today because we have to drive 50 miles or so so he can go spend the weekend with a friend. So we need to leave at about 4.30 and I have some things that I need to get done before we do that. But I figured, since I already had this out, that I should film my weekly progress video. Oop, come on. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three. So in the updated saga of me not having the drills that I need still. I still have not received them from DPF. I did send another message uh, through the AliExpress uh, messenger saying, um, okay, you said you were going to send me the tracking information and I never got it. And then I still didn't hear anything back. And I said, Okay, I checked my mail and I still do not see uh, them. So did you send them? Nothing responded. So I sent a message yesterday and I said, um, I said, I'm honestly disappointed with your guys' customer service. I placed my initial order. I don't even know when. I received it on June 29th. And then that's when I noticed that I was missing a few colors, or no, sorry, just the one, just the one color. And they said, oh my gosh, yeah, we'll send it to you, we'll send it to you. And that was on like the 29th of June, and it is August 25th. So it's kind of like, okay, um, not leaving, not making me want to order from you again, that's for sure. I mean, I got it. I got almost all of the stuff I ordered, but yeah. 
So I did. So when I emailed and I said, you know, I'm really disappointed with your guys' customer service. I, you know, you said you'd send me the tracking number, but you never did. And they responded back. And I know that there's a language barrier. So, you know, I'm trying to be understanding of that. And they said, oh, we've, we're, you know, I just get so busy. And then I just keep forgetting to send you the tracking number. Well, that was two days ago. And they still didn't send me the dumb tracking number. So it's kind of like, okay. And I even said, if you forgot it, or if you forgot to put it in the mail or whatever, can you just let me know? Because I need to order the diamonds from somewhere else because I need them for my project. It's that color is going to come up. I mean, I ordered it with plenty of time, you know, I mean, so I don't know. I'm, it's very frustrating. You know, I understand that things, things happen, life happens, you know, I mean, there could be a family emergency or there could be something, but that's when you have to communicate with your customers because I would be, I would gladly understand if something happened like, oh yeah, you know, we just, you know, we had something happen and we haven't been able to do it. Well, just communicate that. Because just not responding or saying I'll do it and then not doing it, like that's just, you know, it's not the only place where you can order diamonds. So if I have to, if I have to pay more and order them from Evermoment next time or someone else, you know, I will because everyone says, you know, their customer service is better. So, I mean, yeah. <sighs> not not what I want to do but and so I you know this this is like an idea of how long this has taken so I mean I discovered this at the end of June well it, I think it was a few weeks ago I was um, trying to film an unboxing and I realized that when I was trying to kit the painting up that they didn't send me the right diamonds. And this is from Crafties. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I emailed them and said, hey, um, I don't think I have the right diamonds because you know, none of these DMC numbers are <laughs> matching up with this. And you know, the painting is mainly pink and blue and uh, I got a bunch of greens and browns. And you know, they instantly replied and were like, yes, we're so sorry, you know, let's, you know, we'll send you out you know, a new canvas and the new diamonds immediately. And that was like maybe two weeks ago. And I already got it. I got it today. So yeah, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this I had a problem with like a shorter amount of time. And I still got it sooner. So, uh, Hopefully when I just have more spares, it won't be a problem and I won't have to order a bunch of diamonds from somewhere. So I was trying to keep with, you know, the whole resin diamonds cause they're better and I know it's harder to find, uh, resin diamonds, but okay. Where is that? That is right there. Where's that? So there we go. Then down one and down one. Yes. Oh my goodness, goodness. Let's see, where are we? So that one right there. And then there are that many. All right finished up it's electric on my last whip and chatty rant so I'm so excited to get that done because that means I got to start pleasant picnic and the colors oh I mean granted I've only I'm not even done with the bottom row but oh the colors are just so happy and bright and there's a there's a yellow AB and it's like a bright yellow AB and I don't I don't think I've ever worked with that a bright yellow AB before. I've done like a pale yellow AB, but oh, it is just 
cannot wait until I actually start getting to the characters. Right now I'm just doing like, it's like a line of grass basically. <laughs> but it's still, it's still so cute. And it's the first kit that I've gotten to do that has the um, fairy dust diamonds. And so those are definitely, definitely easier to place than ABs. I was like, oh, thank goodness. Yep. That's all we need to do. Is that it? Is that all the Ds? For some reason, my tablet keeps, I, I keep marking things off and then it'll, like not mark mark everything off and it's kind of weird and I don't I don't think I'm pushing anything weird or troubly but because like I'll mark everything off and then hit okay and then some will still be highlighted but it'll want me to frog them or clear them and I'm like oh I don't want to I don't want to frog them I I want to mark those off and so then I have to like push the push the search button and then push like a different button and then it'll let me mark them off. So I'm not entirely sure what all that's about, but it's kind of annoying. And my latest, my latest order from Diamond Art Club, oh, I swear, I'm trying not to order. I'm trying so bad, but I really wanted Oh Kitten Tree and you know, then you have to order a second painting so you can get the free shipping because I'm not gonna pay for shipping and so I got another one and you know of course my daughter instantly claimed it as hers but she's like I want this one I'm like okay well you know she's like well I want you to make this one next and I said well I, it's not wait that is not right wait a second no we're not I said well I'm I'm doing the strawberry shortcake one first. She said, okay, and then you're doing this one. And I said, well, no, then I want to do the Oh Kitten Tree because I'd like to have it done uh, for, you know, Christmas time. I don't want to really leave it too long. And then is that, oh, that's three, okay. You know, I'd like to have it done for Christmas time just in case uh, that's the only Christmas tree we get to have up because our cats are so naughty. So she was, she's put in her request to have the painting I ordered for her done after I do Oh Kitten Tree. And I said, well, there's also a, there's a Peggy Collins event. I think, I think it starts in October. I think it's October, November, but I am honestly not 100% about that. Okay, where? That one, and then that one. Um, and so I did, I have already unboxed two that I have not posted yet. And kitted one up that I would like to work on for the Peggy Collins event. So, but the Peggy Collins one is square. And the one she wants me to do is around. So I might be able to kind of squeeze it in between working on the Peggy Collins one. So, but we'll see. I only have so many hours in the day that I can craft. I've got to adult and do all that stuff. So, yeah, so we got our kittens. Well, they're not kittens anymore. We got our cats during COVID. So we got them in November of 2020. And probably should have waited until after Christmas because we tried to put a Christmas tree up. And that was a giant, giant fail. And it was not from lack of trying on our part to come up with some kind of solution. Like, I mean, we tried, you know, we tried, okay, we're going to spray the cats every time they crawl in the Christmas tree. And we're going to, I tried putting like essential oils on the tree that they don't like. 
and we try I mean we tried all these different things and nothing deterred them they just they wanted to be in the Christmas tree on the Christmas tree under the Christmas tree so we quickly discovered that uh, they were not going to listen and the problem with like saying yeah just spray your cats every time they go on the Christmas tree well I can't sleep in the living room and I can't live there and I can't you know not go to the grocery store or do anything so they would wait until you're gone and then you would find like broken branches and all sorts of stuff so we discovered we had to put that down so the next year we were like okay let's start early let's put it up just the tree you know let them explore and you know maybe they'll get bored of it nope they did not get bored of it they thought it was a sport to see who could climb the Christmas tree the fastest or who could get the highest into the Christmas tree. So that was another Christmas tree fail for our family. So wait a second. That does not, that is a giant section of black. What? is going on that doesn't look why does it always not look right when i'm okay six five so that's hmm something happened did that 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 so there's that but something is amiss. Because that does not look right. I did that one. So that's one, two, three rows of darkness. And there is not three rows of darkness. Hmm. Okay. We will explore that later. Ugh. Okay. So we can't have Christmas trees. And so I asked my husband last year, because, you know, we tried and we failed. I was like, we have got to come up with something because, you know, the Christmas tree is like one of the main Christmas decorations that I really care about. You know, I mean, I have all my ornaments from when I was a kid. You know, I've always collected ornaments for the kids. And so Christmas tree is like... You know, my favorite. So I'm going to try to encourage him to build some kind of enclosure for the tree. You would think that there would be things on the market, like Christmas tree enclosures. There really isn't, though. Some people, like, I, we Googled it a bunch. And I need more of these. And some things were like, oh, just hang your Christmas tree from the ceiling. Yeah, that won't work. They jump on the furniture and the bookcases. They would get into it even if it was on the ceiling. And then they would probably pull it out of the ceiling and ruin the ceiling and the drywall and all that. So, no. We could put a, like a, you know, like a chain link fence around it. Well, then they will just climb the damn thing. So that doesn't really seem like that will work either. So I don't, I don't know. My thought on the whole debacle is, to, and, and, it, and the problem is my idea, of course, is like the most expensive idea that I could possibly have because, you know, that's just how I, how I roll apparently. But my idea is to build some sort of like a screen. Like they have those room dividers that you can buy, you know, pretty much anywhere I think now. I mean, you could probably buy one on Amazon or like, so like a privacy screen. But instead of a privacy screen, it would be a plexiglass screen. So it would be like a kind of plexiglass enclosure that could go all the way around the Christmas tree 
So you could still see the ornaments, but the naughty little cats can't actually get the ornaments because it would have to go all the way around the tree or somehow connect to the wall to, you know, create a full-fledged, like, barrier around the tree. But plexiglass is not cheap. And we were looking and for like a six foot tall piece of plexiglass that was, I forget how wide it was because it would kind of have to be like multiple sections, you know, like to kind of build like a, like a hexagon or something around it. <sighs> yeah, it would be, it would cost like almost a thousand dollars to make. And I was like, oh, that's a, that's a lot of money just so I can put my Christmas tree up. But we have not found any other solution that we think could work. So, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, we, when growing up, we always had cats. And they would kind of bat at the Christmas tree, but they would leave it alone. And so, I don't know what is so wrong with the cats that I have now that they just, it's... It's like they're attracted to the tree and they just can't leave it alone. I mean, I don't know. Even just the tree without any ornaments on it, like, caused them to go, like, crazy. And so I don't really want to put ornaments on a Christmas tree because then they're just going to knock them all off and break them. Because if they think the Christmas tree is for them to play in now, hanging ornaments on it, psh forget it. That's like, they're going to think that that's their Christmas present. I just can't believe nobody has come up with a something. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the only person who's has, wait a minute, is that right? Yeah. Who has a Christmas tree loving cat or cats. Okay, that one needs to go in there. That, um, that one. Ooh, that was a crunchy crunch. Okay, I was working on the section before this one, and I had a floofy, fuzzy fleece sweater on and I totally stuck my arm into the sticky part right in here. So I'm glad that it, it seems that it's not negatively impacting um, <laughs> the diamond sticking because I was not happy with myself. That's for sure. Some of these I did not place very straight. There are some very crooked things. Luckily with squares, they do straighten themselves out in a pretty decent manner. Well, I did finally receive my round diamonds for my Garfield background color changing project. So, I will get to, I finished the canvas, now I just need to figure out how to go about uh, taping off and experimenting with the few different glitters I have to see how I can change the background color from the pink round background color to a teal. So I have a like an old Amazon canvas that I got when I first started diamond painting and I gave up on it because the diamonds would just not stick nicely at all. So I gave up on that one uh, but I kept it and so I'm gonna experiment. I think I have 
some embossing powder, and then I also have some Martha Stewart super fine glitter. And I didn't want to have to buy any, I didn't want to have to buy anything new for it just because it's bad enough. I ran out of the, the dumb teal drills as I was working on it. So then I had to order more, but because I didn't order, you know, that many each time, I still had to pay for shipping. So I feel like I probably spent almost $30 just on replacing the diamonds on a $24 canvas. So yeah, I should have been better about calculating how many extra diamonds I needed. But I, you know, I found a thing online that said, if you have, you know, X, you know, like a quarter of a table, a quarter of a teaspoon is X amount of drills. And I went by that. And either that calculation was incorrect or my measuring was very incorrect. So now I know. And I saw somebody post online and they said they, they were trying to do something. They were trying to change some drill colors and they emailed Diamond Art Club and they actually told them how many drills were in each color, which I was like, oh, well, that would have been the uh, smart thing to do. But I did even not even realize that that was a potential option. So next time, if I attempt to do something similar, which I don't know, then I will do that. I just, the round diamonds, man, I cannot get them to stick. Like, I feel like they're always just like one touch away from popping off. I never feel... Like, I feel so nervous with round diamonds on a canvas than I do on with square diamonds. Like, I just feel like with the round diamonds, I am, like, I barely touch it or I, I barely fold the canvas a little bit and they just start, like, going over each other. So, I don't know. Let's see. Eight, two, three... Let's see, I'll we'll just put a few in Mr. Lid. Okay, let's move you so I don't spill you. All right, so we have one up here. One there. And then, come on. Down right there. One right there. Come on. One right. That's all the L's, yep. Let's see, R, one R. One lonely R. We will just dip and pick this one. That is not worth the time and energy to do that. Whoops. I wish if you just have one, you could just like push it and hold it down and just be done with it. Maybe you can, maybe I should probably try. Three seven six eight. Where is that? Three seven six eight. Three seven six eight. There we go. Two. Oopsie. And three. We. I swear, our weather is so bipolar right now oh see i did it again with that Ugh. it was pouring down rain this morning and it even did like a little thundering i don't know if it lightninged lightning <laughs> lightning ding <laughs> i don't i i didn't see any but i also was not looking um and now it's super sunny and muggy and kind of gross wearing a sweatshirt and like pants when I left this morning to go get a kid a haircut and go to the UPS store and 
go to the grocery store. Now I'm like, oh, when I go back out later, I'm going to definitely probably not want to make sure I don't have the sweatshirt on because it says it's 75 degrees now. Yeah, I made the mistake of thinking that I could just order boys athletic pants on Amazon without feeling what they felt like. It's, we tried going to the outlet mall and like there was no athletic pants for my son who's like, he's skinny, but he's getting tall. And so now he's like in the men's pants, but the problem is they're like, they're too big still, but the boys pants are, are not long enough. And when we went to the outlet mall, you know, I mean, it's, I, there's a reason why they're there because a lot of them are like the pants are hideous or like, it's clearly what no one else wanted to keep. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was the stuff, like a lot of the pants, they just felt awful and polyester and just like gross. So I was like, fine, I'll order some from Amazon, right? Well, the pants that I ordered, they felt like baseball pants, like the pants that you wear to play baseball in. Oh, they felt awful. I was like, yeah, no, there's no way my kid's going to wear those. I wouldn't wear those. It's like, they're like really, really, really scratchy and just, they felt, oh. So, but then I'm like, well, great. Now I got to return the dumb things. So luckily with Amazon, you can, for the most part, they make it easy to return most things. Not always. There's been a few things I've had to return to Amazon that have been a giant pain in the butt. So I do not appreciate it when something can't be returned with free shipping because it's like, dude, it's not my fault that your pants feel like scratchy garbage. So not my problem. You should make better pants. that yes that is right okay I guess it is right it just doesn't look right but hey what do I know sometimes I think the colors on pattern keeper do not like line up with the colors of the the diamonds and I'm not entirely sure why but it definitely makes you second guess yourself like wait a minute did I do the right color did I not do the right color Why did I put those in there? I could have easily just dipped them out. Oh, well. It's fine. Come on. Wait, is that chunky? Hang on. What is going on? No. Just did not look right. Come on. Come on. This is like a big old gap in it. Oops, that one stuck to my finger. Okay. All right. Apparently I, I did that one and I forgot to mark it off. So now you're really marked off. Okay. Let's see. We have 604. All right. We will not dump you out. There's that. Ooh, that's a bright pink. Nice. So we have one, two. Three. Seven, seven, eight. See, spilling them out of my spout hole. Whoa, wait a minute. That. No, wait a minute. No, that's You're trying to trick me. Don't be doing it. Okay, there's that. Um, right 
we were at Safeway today and I saw that it's officially the start of pumpkin spice latte season. So I know a lot of people out there will be overjoyed. Uh, I don't come for me, but I actually don't like the pumpkin spice latte. I like pumpkin spice. I just, for some reason, the pumpkin spice latte, I feel like is kind of gross. And I think maybe it's just because I don't really like Starbucks, this coffee in general, but I like pumpkin spice. Like I like pumpkin muffins and pumpkin scones and I like the smell of pumpkin things, but I have tried the pumpkin spice latte several times and each time I'm like, nope, that is a giant bottle of nope. So I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something about it just, it just, it's almost like it's bitter and which is weird because like everything at Starbucks is so full of sugar, but it doesn't taste like it's full of sugar. I don't know. Mm. I want to like it. I really do, but I just can't. I mean, I will take pumpkin flavored like so many things, but that is just, I can't do it. I mean, our Trader Joe's has, I don't know. Well, maybe this year they won't have as much. I don't know. They had, I mean, they go all out with the pumpkin spice. They have like pumpkin spice spaghetti sauce and pumpkin spice like toaster pastries and pumpkin spice, you know, cereal and pumpkin spice yogurt and pumpkin spice ice cream and it's like yeah that's no that's not the right spot some of it i'm like i don't know about that but for some reason i just cannot do it in coffee i don't know why okay let's see let's do four three eight three six that's all the way over here. Three, eight, three, six. Just one. Oops, that one's a little too curved for my liking. So we have that. Mark that off. All right, almost done. Okay, I'm gonna need to stand up and stretch because I'm sitting here for this long is probably not the smartest thing I've done, considering I'm going to have to sit in the car for several hours in traffic. So. But my son told me, he goes, well, it's okay, because we're going to we're gonna have pizza when we get back to my friend's house. I'm like, well, wow, that's so great for you. <laughs> like, I'm gonna need to probably eat dinner before I leave because I'm not gonna be home until like eight o'clock and I cannot eat dinner that late. I am not young. I am like an old person. I need to eat dinner by five o'clock or I'm gonna get hangry or like I won't be able to eat because it'll make my stomach hurt. So. Like, so I'm glad you get to have pizza, but I will need to eat before I leave. And then make sure not to drink anything. Because if it's an hour and a half to get to the meeting spot in traffic, there is a good chance it's going to be an hour and a half to get home. At least. Hopefully. Hopefully not. But I don't usually go down the freeway in that direction at that time of day. So I honestly don't know. Okay, come on, you are super curved and I do not want you. Come on, okay, come on, curver. Nope, fine. Oh, now I just buried it, awesome. Good job, good job, Christian, good job. Those are really, so, well, we'll find him eventually, won't we? Okay. So there's that, and then last color. Do, 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 do. 
Here we go. 452. Oh. All right. Put you guys in there. Oh, all right. So, yeah, it's the end. It's like the end of August. The next time I film one of these, it could be September, which is crazy. It's already September. I mean, then it's already like October and before you know it, it's Christmas and New Year's and psh, year has flown by. I don't know. Do you guys think it's flown by or are you like, no, this year is taking forever? Seriously. It needs to get done. <laughs> let me know. And let me know if you made it this far by posting some kind of like sun emoji or like a palm tree or something. Something warm weather related. So that is that. So today it says I have done 1,203 stitches. Well, I, I didn't do the extra three stitches. Apparently I I had marked other ones previously around, and so then I had to unmark them, and then I had to remark, so uh, yeah, it's a little, maybe I did actually. No, I didn't. Oh, there's one right there. See, look at that. Ugh. Just can never have just like a nice even number. So, yes. Well, 12, 1202 stitches today, and I am at a whopping 7.7%. Go me. So when I finish this canvas, it will be 33%. <laughs> and then I'll still have two more canvases to do. So it'll take no time at all. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out and working alongside of me or, you know, doing something else. Whatever you chose to do is cool with me. Um, if you like this, please consider liking, subscribing. I just hit 100 subscribers, so that's super exciting. Um, and until next time, big awkward hugs and I will see you. Bye.